One of the most common questions people have asked me is, what do you think about the chainsaw, be it from Warhammer 40K or similar settings? So I guess it's about time to tackle that. You might expect me to go on a rant about how unrealistic it is, because if you have to cram a motor and a battery in there somehow, it makes the entire thing so bulky and heavy that it's just unwieldy and it's silly. But of course, in Warhammer 40k, you also have power armor, which not only enhances your strength by a magnitude of whatever the fluff, but also increases your mass substantially, helping you deal with the enormous momentum that you would generate that might drag you off your feet otherwise, even if you do have the strength. Or you might expect me to rant about how impractical the chainsaw would be for anything other than felling trees and processing logs, because it's defeated by something as puny as a t-shirt because fabric will be drawn into it and stall the motor. But the thing is, we're talking sci-fi scenario with super advanced technology and exotic materials. Really just about anything I could say against the 40K chainsword would likely be debunked by super nerds in an essay handwritten in orange ink made of the finest Dorito dust. So like, what could you possibly say? There's going to be a PhD written about it, about how much sense it makes. Actually. But that's not my contention here anyway. My objection is of a more semantic nature, if you will. A chain sword is not a sword, okay? It's a chainsaw. <laughs> They're used in mutually contradictory modes of operation, if you will. Because, um, can you imagine a sword fight which consists of walking up to the opponent and holding your sword up to them and waiting until they die? That's not how this works. You use swords in concussive attacks. There's impact. What happens if you walk up to a tree and hit it with a running chainsaw? What happens to the tree? Not a whole lot. What happens to the chainsaw? Catastrophic failure. This is one of those cases where you can't have both. You can't have your cake and chainsaw it too. You don't normally hit things with that because what's the point? You keep pressing the chainsaw against the target and it'll keep chewing into it. There's no percussive impact. If you do that, you're likely going to pop the chain off the blade or otherwise damage it, probably stall the motor. It just doesn't work that way and you wouldn't have a sword fight with a chainsaw. If two people had a chainsaw fight, I really don't know what it would look like because <laughs> there's not much defensive action you can do. If you want to see more sword versus chainsaw shenanigans, I made a video about how to fight a movie slasher a couple of years ago. It's linked in the description below. Even if you have extremely advanced technology with some super material that allows the chain to, to run reliably without stalling, without popping off, and the material is capable of sawing straight through armor and, and whatnot without failure, it's still not a sword. It's, it's a chain saw and it could work. Like I can definitely imagine that in the world of Warhammer 40K, it makes perfect sense like in terms of internal logic but it's still not a sword. It wouldn't be constructed like a sword. It would barely look like one and it would most definitely not be used like one. So yeah, that's why chain swords are bullshit, if you ask me. Thanks for sitting through this. Hope you found it entertaining and uh, take care.